Hello, gorgeous. <clears throat> Hope you are well and vibing high, living your best life. Happy birthday to whosoever birthday is this week, today, this weekend. Go out and enjoy yourself. Buy yourself a present. Have a little fun. So we're going to do a Scorpio and no contact and see where this goes. I'm just trying some new things. I'm going to do a few other things. And I am waiting on some career tarot cards that I ordered from Esty. But anybody's ever ordered from Esty, you can't get it overnight. So I'm, I've been waiting. They should be here soon. And we're going to do a few of those too. But if you like my vibe, I would love a subscribe. For those of you who have, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, you're helping me build a community of love and positivity, and um, I want it to stay that way. I want everybody to um, feel like a family here on this channel. So let's hop on in. Scorpio and no contact. First card out, exhaustion. It's been a long journey, Scorpio. You feel fatigued. Your person feels fatigued. Very long journey. So let's get into it. Holy Spirit, how is Scorpio's person feeling right now that they're in, since they've been in no contact? <sighs> An emotional whirlwind here. Quite dramatic. They're unstable at times. Wow. Third party, dark, dark attachments. This third party has dark attachments. In turn, now your person has dark attachments. So we've already answered the second question is why are you in no contact? Why haven't they contacted you? So how they're feeling right now is quite dramatic, unstable, depleted, fatigued. And uh, they obviously feel as if um, they have some dark attachment here with this third party. This third party is evidently if your person is feeling like they are a dark attachment, you know, things obviously aren't going that well here in this relationship. But um, why hasn't Scorpio's person reached out? Why? Spirit, tell me why. They need to clear their headspace. They feel you're better off. There's grief here, sorrow, and pain. This was a past life relationship. They feel that this was a repeated pattern. You you had some repeated pattern together. It was like deja vu. This person feels like you are better off without them. They seem to be quite uh, feeling sorry for themselves right now. A lot of grief, a lot of sorrow. Um, it seems like they are saying, uh, Scorpio, you're better off without me. I have these dark attachments here. I am... Um, not good for you. This could have been a karmic lesson, okay? This really, um, you know, uh, I'm sure there were a lot of lessons learned here in the pain, in the middle of um, not speaking, being in this emotional whirlwind. I do feel you have found yourself, Scorp. You have found who you are in all of this. Your person is trying to do that. Let's see, what is exhaustion spirit why do why do they feel exhausted why are they depleted tell us why they're feeling depleted and exhausted oh because they're having tower moment after tower moments that's why they are having lots of tower moments mm, mm -mm. and if you see here you know in in a lot of tarot cards there's only there's two people falling out the tower if you take notice in this one there is only one so they are having tower moments that they are trying to keep you from Scorpio. I feel like this person feels it's better you don't speak right now because of how dark this third party is. Um, this is what I'm sensing. I feel like uh, they could be um, waiting on something here. We have the three of wands in the tower. It looks like this person is waiting. They're in a waiting energy. We're going to clarify even deeper then. Um, tell me about emotional whirlwind spirit. Why? What's going on? This, this karmic could be unstable, could be dramatic. Yeah. See your person. Wow. Guys, lots of conflict going on here about this relationship. This, this third party seems to be unstable. Constant conflict about this commitment, about what your person wants. I feel your person does not know what they want. 
They don't know who they want to settle down with. They don't know who they want to um, start a family with or have a family with. Um, and there's two cups here. You see this? That are bright. are different. Um, so essentially this person is is trying to decide on what they want they're holding their self back from you it's so there's constant conflict here and the five of swords third party is always trying to win at all cost and they are trying to keep you from this this is what i'm seeing so far they do have hope now you could be dealing with an aquarius you could be dealing with a leo this person does have a lot of hope they do have a lot of hope that they could bring this back around with you once whatever is going on is over. Like I said, they're in a waiting energy here. They're waiting on, on something. Holy Spirit, please tell me, what is this third party? Why dark attachments, third party influences? Now, this could be outside influences as well. Yeah, see, people are trying to influence your person about you here in the Queen of Cups. Wow, two of Cups, Knight of Swords, lots of aggression. So it's all arguments about you, Scorpio, <laughs> about contacting you, about not contacting you. It could be mental conflict too, but whatever is going on here, this third party, I feel, is arguing with your person about you and, and your relationship with them. This third party knows that you have a spiritual connection to your person. This third party knows that you have some kind of soulmate, twin flame situation going on. And there's a lot of aggression, a lot of acting out, a lot of fast, quick um, actions, not thinking before they do something. This um, third party is dark as fuck. Wow. So what, let's go down here to um, why they're not reaching out here. This is how they're feeling. Now let's see why. Why better off? Why does Scorpio's person feel they're better off not reaching out right now? Having no contact right now? Yeah. Because they're beat up. Oh, look at this. Nine of Wands, Eight of Swords. They feel you're better off. They don't want to drag you down. They don't want to burden you. They're trapped in their mind. They could be actually physically feel like they're trapped with this dark attachment third party. They're beat up. They're wounded. And they feel that you would be better off without them at this point. Um, now, I will say this. And I may get drugged for this. But your person is actually looking out for you, Scorpio. They're trying not to bring you into their drama. They're trying to protect you. Now, maybe they left you for a third party and they hurt you really badly. Um, maybe you meant them when they were with a third party and they chose to stay with the third party and it hurt you really badly. Trust me, I've been there. But at the end of the day, your person wants you to be happy. They do. They're trying to clear their headspace here and they want you to be happy. So they feel like when they're in this energy, because of being in this energy, that they don't want to bring you into it. And um, I mean, I, I hope that that gives you some peace. They, they, they are trying to protect you from something. Maybe this third party is a lunatic. Maybe they have a lot of things going on. Maybe they have mental health issues they're struggling with right now. Whatever the case is, it seems that your person is trying to protect you. Tell me about this grief, sorrow, pain, spirit. <clears throat> Yeah, they put you in this third party situation and they know it. They could be drinking a lot. Um, they could be partying a lot. There's there, to try to forget you, to try to get over this loss, this pain that they feel. Um, but this is one of the reasons why they're not reaching out because of the third party. It's almost the whole reason why they're not reaching out. They, why, why spirit, why three of cups? I, I feel like um, they're not reaching out because this third party could literally watch them, could make them feel trapped. This third party is, it has got them entrapped somewhere pretty much is what your person is saying. Lots of pain, lots of pain here, lots of betrayal. And they feel the time wasn't right. Your person feels that the timing was right, not right between y'all. Your person feels that, um, they're not contacting you because it's the, the time's not right. This, they still have this dark attachment to them that they know they need to come to you correct. This is what your person is saying. Why past lives here? What's going on? Tell me about this. Deja vu, karmic patterns. Your person is repeating patterns and they know it. 
Your person is getting becoming hip to the fact that they're repeating patterns. And this is why they're not reaching out. Yeah, because there's a lot of illusions here. They could be, wow, they are in their mind so bad. They can't sleep. They think about you all the time. There's some fear. There's illusions um, going on in your person's life. And they have done this repeatedly. They have repeated this pattern, possibly repeated it with you. And this is why they're not reaching out. They know that they cannot continue this mess. They know that they can't continue having you in a third party situation, that you are not down with it. This person is in their head. They could be focusing on work. They could be uh, throwing their self into their work. They're working on their self. They could be working on saving money. They are investing in their self now. It seems they are at least trying to. They are at least trying here to focus on them, to focus on their self. I feel um, your person is, is, is dying to reach out, but there's something about timing and this third party that it's not right. The timing is not right for them to leave, it seems. So let's see, what is, what, why, tell us why the tower and the three of wands, what are they, what are they waiting on, spirit? They could be trying to sell their home trying to find a new home. One of the biggest things is going on, Scorpio, is they probably won't have some anywhere to live if they leave this third party. They could be trying to figure that out. They're trying to wait on something with the home. Um, Spirit, why, why the Ten of Cups here and the Five of Swords? Why? Why are they um, arguing? What's going on? <sighs> third party's mask falling off. They could be gambling a lot. They could be rolling the, wanting to roll the dice to come in here, but their mental conflict, all the conflict around them is stopping them. This is how they feel. They feel like the third party's mask is coming off. This is why there's so much conflict. There's something here that they're seeing about the third party that they didn't see before. Tell me about this dark influence, third party influence spirit. Tell us about this. Two of Cups, Knight of Swords. Yeah, there's a lot of heartbreak here. Lots of heartbreak. There's something happened with this third party where the mask fell off. Your person is having tower moment after tower moment because of this third party, because of dealing with this third party attachment. And this is why they're not reaching out. Wow. Um, let's go down to uh, Better Off and Nine of Wands. Yeah, see, they're, they're waiting to go. They are going through a breakup and they feel you're better off not being involved in it. You're better off staying outside of this. They want you to um, be happy, Scorpio. They really do. They have surrendered to the fact that they love you. They've surrendered to the fact that they cannot continue to drag you into their mess. So they went no contact. Now, maybe the way they did it was terrible. Maybe they cut you off completely. But I feel like this person did not know how to communicate clearly to you. Spirit, why timing here? What's going on? Why are they staying with the third party and why timing? Something could have happened on social media. Something could happen on social media. Wow, yeah, see, they're waiting. They're waiting for the right time to text you, to reach out. I do see this person coming out of no contact. Lots of change. They could be seeing something on social media. They could have found something on social media about this third party out doing the most, okay? They could have seen that. There's something about time. They could feel like you are with a third party. There's something about timing and they've seen it on social media or uh, they're going to reach out to you um, on social media. Maybe they found a text message on the third party's phone. Something's going down where the mask is off. The mask is coming off. Why the nine of swords? Why the moon here? What is this person? Mm, something really unexpected happened. Now, it could have been when they were traveling. Maybe they travel for work and they found out the third party was cheating. They could have been um, outside the house and the third party was doing something different. Um, I do feel like they, at some point, either got married or was working on this relationship with the third party. And now they're in their mind about why the fuck they committed to this person. It's something about commitment. Somebody here hooked up with somebody else. Somebody had a hookup um, with another person and got caught. 
Yeah, see, I, I feel at some point here, your person was trying to work on things with the third party, but now they're they're in their mind. There's lots of anxiety. There's been a tower moment. Maskets fell off. There's lots of heartbreak here, and they want reconciliation. Now, they could have went back to this third party and regret the fuck out of it. And this is why there's no contact. This person is in so much regret because of whatever they did with it. They, they decided to do with this third party. They want reconciliation. I do feel they're going to come out of the no contact really, really soon. I absolutely do. I feel you will be hearing from your person soon, Scorp. This person seems to be having tower moments. They are going through a breakup. They feel that you are better off not being involved because they're trying to protect you. Now, I'm not saying this person is a, you know, like is the a knight in shining armor. What I'm saying is they're trying to protect you from this and because they do care for you, because they do love you and they do want reconciliation. Now, let's see what messages we have from your person. Holy Spirit, tell me what is going on with Scorpio's person and what messages do we have for them? What do you feel Scorpio needs to know about their person in this situation? What do they need to know, Spirit? Spirit, tell us the tea. We want to know. Scorpio deserves to know. I feel like no contact, ghosting, being quiet, not knowing is one of the worst things. Don't you? I, I, I honestly feel like I would rather have a person say, you know, fuck you, bitch. Never speak to me again rather than just ghosting. It just makes your, you make things up in your mind. You, you just, it drives you absolutely crazy. Yeah, this person is still very guarded. Now, your abilities were heightened, spirit saying, because of this, your abilities when you, you went through some spiritual awakening, this pushed you into that. I feel your person feels very vulnerable right now, feeling very, very vulnerable. They're saying their kids come first. So for some of you, your person stayed in this home with this third party because of their children. And they should have just told you that though. This, these are all things that they should have told you. Okay, I do feel that they are running out of time, they feel, and they can't decide. They're still very undecided, undecisive. They're tired of fighting, though. They are fighting with this third party nonstop, exposing the truth. Somebody here got caught doing something. Somebody here was exposed about on social media, text messages, or something of the sort. They put you on the back burner, though, Scorp, and they know it. They know what they did. They are bored and they are ready for new. They went out. They went out of this situation. The truth has came out. Mask the fuck off. And they are uh, really, at this point, exhausted. They are exhausted. They are ready for new. Now, I have these little watercolor Lenormand cards. And I'm going to... I. I screenshotted the meanings to all of them. Okay, so this may be... I may need to go through the pictures here, but we are just going to pull three. Holy Spirit, please tell me now, what will Scorpio's person's next moves be? I'm just going to play around with some different cards that I got, guys, and I and I will see what works and then continue to use them and go with that. What What is the next thing Scorpio's person's going to do, Spirit? Tell us. Okay, so we have path. What is the next thing Scorpio's person plans to do? ring what is the next that one really popped out bouquet aren't these beautiful i love i i i'm a very artistic person and i i just love i love watercolor i love color um color can be so therapeutic so we're gonna start with path number 22 some of you could be um well i see bouquet so never mind so uh let's the bouquet is, where are we at? Gifts, um, social life, charming, inviting. So it looks like your person wants to come in and give you a gift. 
Number nine could mean something to you. Your person could be bringing you flowers, wants to bring some kind of gift, something um, on social media. Possibly they will send you a email, a DM, something about social media, but they want to bring you in some kind of gift. I do see them wanting to come out and come back, Scorpio. They want reconciliation. Now, whether you do, you know, is entirely up to you, love. You, um, you need to decide what is best for you and make sure that this person is completely out of this third party so this does not happen again. I would hate for this to ever happen to you again, honey, because going no contact, especially when it's like, you know, they fall off and don't even tell you why, that is the hardest, the hardest ever. It can just be almost like a nightmare. Now, I feel like this person um, wants to come in here. There's something about um, them wanting a pathway to open up. They want to, um, they want your forgiveness here. They want a pathway to open up for your forgiveness is what they're hoping for. This person is trying to open a pathway up and they want to come in here and have some committed, prom we have promise, stable contracts, marriage. So they want to come in and, and, actually give you the commitment that you deserve the commitment that you so desired here with with them and I do feel like um in time that will happen but you know they still have a lot going on here as you can see they're still going through tower after tower so it looks like their next move is going to be to um bring you some kind of um uh, they want to ask some kind of commitment, some something, something of the sort. They may even want to get married. There's something about this person having issues with abandonment. It's like they don't want to see, they, they're they afraid that you'll leave. So they want to come in and make some guarantee, some proposal for you to stay is what they want. Holy Spirit, what will Scorpio's person do next? What is their next actions going to be? Yeah, they're leaving behind they're leaving behind this third party. They want reconciliation. They're finally standing in their power, realizing that leaving would be a blessing in disguise. They're going to leave behind the third party and come on back in here for reconciliation. They feel it's not finished. What are they going to do, Spirit? What do they want when they come in? Do they want commitment? Yeah, they want smooth sailing. Um, they're stressing about this. There's a lot of distractions, but, but they feel so much serenity with you, Scorpio. So I do feel that they look at you as beautiful, intuitive. You have an inner knowing that this is going to happen. You have an inner knowing that this person is coming back, that this is not finished. This person feels like it's not finished. You feel like it's not finished. And one of the reasons is, is all this passion all this intimacy, as well as the fact that this person, I don't feel gave you, I don't feel like you had a proper goodbye from this person. And I feel like it has been excruciating for you. And I'm so sorry because I know where you're coming from. It, it's one of the worst things. Yeah, I was careless with you, your person is saying. I focused on you instead of my pain. They could have um, been going through a lot. This person has childhood issues. This person has major childhood issues, guys. I just feel it. I sense it. Like I said, there's something with abandonment that they deal with. And um, they needed to heal. But instead, they focused on love. They were careless with you. And leaving you hurt me too. It did. It did hurt them. I will give them that. It really did. And they absolutely, look at this, not finished reconciliation. This person wants to come back in. They are in a lot of regret. They feel a lot of regret, Scorp. They really do. But you know what? Is it too late? I feel that you lost the fuck up in the middle of this. No contact. And, um, you know, now they may be coming back to a completely different person. Holy Spirit, please tell me what are the messages. Give me three messages. What should Scorpio be focused on? What should Scorpio be focusing their energy on? I release... I mean, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love, fear, and love. 
I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things, Scorp. And I do feel that that's what you've been doing. You have been working on releasing this fear, releasing this pain. And I feel good when I help others. A lot of you could be in the service industry. A lot of you could have um, possibly really figured your path out in the middle of this. You could have, it could have sparked you into knowing what you want, knowing who you are. And it's really good. It's really, really a good thing. This was a karmic lesson for you. It, it was. You had a past life relationship. You signed up for this bullshit, believe it or not. But you did. And when you think about it as how much can I learn? What can I learn from this? It, it really will be helpful. Um, you will be able to start not repeating these patterns. So we have intuition. Spirit is encouraging you to trust your inner guidance. And I know it. I knew it. You have an inner intuition. You know this person is coming back. You can feel them. You could be 43 or 34. But Archangel Ragel wants you to understand that you are one with the universe. So you are already with this person in spirit. You are already, you are with your past over loved ones. You are with like time doesn't exist. We are all one. And spirit wants you to understand that as well as listen to your intuition. The angels, spirit, me, I am encouraging you to follow your heart, follow your intuition. However you are feeling right now, know that um, it is real. You can trust yourself. I feel like maybe sometimes you don't you feel like, am I playing games with myself? Am I playing games with my mind um, because of all the pain? Am I being um, hopeful? I do feel like it's important to try to um, decipher what is your intuition, what is fear, what is um, wishful thinking. Uh, but at the end of the day, only you will know if this message is for you or not. So we have Virgo. Libra, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. One extra had fell out of the deck. Um, they could be signs that you're dealing with. If you'd like a personal read, please visit my website. It is in the description as well as my email. Feel free to reach out. I hope everybody has a beautiful day. Love and light.